Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Well, I suppose this is more of a general gaming how-to video. DSR is NVIDIA's dynamic super resolution, available for Maxwell and Pascal-based cards and onwards. VSR is AMD's virtual super resolution. It is available on their uh, Radeon R9 285 at card and onwards. DSR and VSR are basically the same thing. It's the rendering of higher resolutions that are natively supported on your monitor and then scaling them down. It provides very, very good picture quality. So you can basically render a game at 1440p or 4K, then downscale it to a 1080p monitor and thus have amazing visuals. Obviously it's very intensive, but if you have the spare horsepower or are playing an older game, then it really, really makes a difference. In Star Citizen, you're gonna need an extremely powerful rig at the moment to enjoy this feature fully. And even when the game's released and fully optimized, it's going to be a very, very intensive feature that's gonna sap up a load of resources. But it does make the game look very, very nice. Enabling is pretty easy. Make sure you've got the latest drivers for your graphics card and that your card's compatible. Uh, to turn on DSR for NVIDIA cards, all you need to do is simply go into your NVIDIA control panel by right clicking on your desktop, then click on manage 3D settings, then uh, in global settings under settings, click DSR factors and enable all of the factors or the ones you want. This will allow these reses to be chosen in games. Then under DSR smoothness, change this to around 20%. It starts at 33, it affects the sharpness and smoothness of images in games. And I found that the values between 15 to 25% are the best because you, you want a nice sharp image and you don't want it to be overly smooth because it blurs stuff out a lot. Once that is applied, you have all those resolutions available in your game, assuming that the game can support that higher resolution. To turn on VSR on AMD cards, simply go to your Catalyst Control Center by again right clicking on your desktop and clicking CCC or Catalyst Control Center. Then go to My Digital Flat Panel then click properties and then enable virtual super resolution or VSR. Then in the game, you will be able to select that high res from your graphics options, assuming the game again supports it. For those of you also considering running anti-aliasing too, in a lot of cases, it's totally unnecessary. The high resolution means that you get very sharp picture quality, not as much jaggedness. And I find myself messing around with settings, trying to get uh, 4K DSR running at 60 frames per second anyway. I find it quite hard because it's very, very intensive um, on, your, on your processor, on your graphics card, on everything. I have, however, found that FXAA can work rather well with DSR and VSR, as it doesn't use too many resources and can really help to add some quality. I've recently replayed Portal 2 with DSR and FXAA on, and it was a glorious, beautiful experience. In Star Citizen, currently, I struggle to get the desired amount of frames even using my NVIDIA GTX 980. But in low settings on 4K, you can get quite good results and it still looks pretty amazing at higher res. It's something to try and when the game is optimized or if you've got enough power to do that or you don't want to change your monitor, um, then VSR and DSR are great options for you. Have a mess around, guys, and see what you think. If you'd like more information about VSR and DSR, links in the description below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It really does help me, and I will see you in the verse.